Welcome to Verbling. I'm Teacher Oakley. And in this class, have your wits about you because it's random questions class. That's right, completely random. No rhyme or reason. Uh, any kind of very specific question, general question, opinion question, description question, preference question. I don't even know myself uh, on any possible topic. So in this class, students who join me will be practicing speaking their conversational English in much the manner that conversation actually happens, totally by chance and at random. Uh, okay, and I, of course, will uh, help you out with any difficulties in vocabulary, grammar, or pronunciation. And uh, that's the game plan. So let me welcome students, and we'll, we'll get started. Uh, hello, Mustafa. How are you? Hello, teacher. I'm doing more than good, more than <laughs> more than best, and even sometimes more than that. <laughs> I think that's the correct one. <laughs> all I all I messed up with it. Yes, <laughs> I. I, I, I. You know what? I don't even know. <laughs> uh, no, no. I am more than that. Not the more than this. More than that. And even sometimes more than... Okay. <laughs> I messed up with this. <laughs> All right. Well, you can try it again next time. <laughs> okay. In the meantime, let me also welcome David to the class. Hello, David. How are you? Hello. Hello. Thank you. Hello. Good to see you again. All right, welcome to the class. And also, uh, Lena has joined us. Long lost Lena, how are you? Hello, Claire. I'm fine, thank you. And you? Uh, I'm, I'm doing okay. Good to see you again. Oh, good to see you too. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, the name of the game today. Totally random questions class. So, uh, well, who knows? Uh, Mustafa, I'm going to start with you. Uh, okay, here we go. What is something that you have won, and how did you win it? What is something I have won? And uh, Sorry, what's the complete of question? Uh, what is something you've won, and how did you win it? And, uh, okay. The object is to something answer... Yet. Get some good detail and complete answer. Yeah. Uh, okay. Some something I have won uh, was uh, something I have won uh, is uh, something I have won was um, when I achieved a high degree or a high grade in uh, my class in the university the first year I joined the university. As you know, like I the first year in my university was in geology department. And it was like a challenge for me because it wasn't my choice or my goal in my life to be in this depart in that department. But um, I went there because I wanted I wanted to achieve a goal, and that goal was to get a high, to get a high grade, and then so I can qualify qualify to the next. Or to the to different college, uh, to a different general college, who have like a statement or a rule in uh, our government, like uh, uh, our government uh, system or rules that say if you can like get a high grade in your first year without any fail from the first round over all the students, so you can have the opportunity to move. To the to a different college, so uh, I worked hard and uh, each day I was imagining myself in that college. Or even though one time, uh, interesting, one time I went there to the to that college, uh, to that department to be more specific, and I walked around it and see the place, see the classroom. So it really gave me a passion. To move forward and keep moving forward, I struggled, but then I achieved my goal, and that was maybe the biggest goal, the biggest goal of my life. Because you know, like 
that changed my my certificate or my bachelor degree from scientist engineer uh, scientist 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 college uh, to engineering college. So yeah, this is it. Okay. Uh, all right. Hmm. Is that, <laughs> is that really something you've won? Something you've worked for? Well, I, I guess so. Yeah, uh, that come to my mind. I'll please. I, oh, okay. just, just I want to clarify something, teacher. I said uh, rules of my country. Uh, constitution, I guess. Constitution is more, to be more specific. Really? Yeah. yeah there's, there's rules about that in the Constitution? Wow. I don't know uh, in the uh, the Ministry of Education and that of higher education. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you can correct me. You can correct me. I don't know. I don't know the, the you know as far as the context. I don't know. I don't know the uh, of course the Constitution of your country. Uh, you, so. so so each 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 higher high, high uh, each Ministry of the Higher Education they have rules that the student. Uh, or the university fellow. So one of them was to get give you the opportunity to move if you get high grade. Okay. Okay. I yeah. see. That's that's interesting because it's completely different than in America. Uh, in America, there are no blanket rules for education. There really aren't. It's uh, willy nilly, helter skelter. Each university or college makes their own rules about admission. Each in each individual school has their own system that they go by so there are there are no blanket rules I always find that kind of uh, kind of amazing um, yeah uh, okay all right so you, you, I guess you can say that you won yourself uh, some uh, good grades you, you won the ability to go to engineering school I guess so. I guess you could say that because really you're obviously in competition with other people. Yeah, yeah, it was a really stiff, com stiff competition. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, a little bit of feedback. Not too much, but a little bit. Uh, you, you started out, well, <laughs> you tried to at least to, to paraphrase the uh, question, which is frankly just good style. Rephrasing the question back to to start your answer, it's actually a great idea, and it's also a great way to sound like you know what you're talking about and stay organized in your speech, while at the same time actually brainstorming what you want to say. So it actually gives you time to think a little bit. So good style. You know, you kind of messed it up a little bit because you were searching for the verb tense. I noticed. Also, uh, just, you know, native speakers would never think about this, but you may have to think about it as you're learning. Uh, past tense question, most likely you need to answer in the past tense. Future question, most likely you're going to answer with future tenses and possibly modals. You know, uh, present tense, what do you do? I do this. You're going to answer with present tense. So. You struggled with that slightly, but then you got on your feet and you were off to the races. Uh, only a couple other very small points. Uh, you qualify for something, not qualify to something. Okay. So you, you qualify for engineering school. Not qualify for. We, okay. uh, we never used to with qualify. And okay. you, uh, interestingly, <laughs> you started off a little anecdote or a little story inside the story um, by kind of signaling you were doing so by using interesting but it should be the adverb interestingly interestingly and then you told a little story I like the fact that you were signaling that that's that's great uh, organization and style but it's interestingly the adverb yeah yeah but that's it uh, pretty good. Good job. Yeah. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Uh, let me welcome Savannah, Savannah to the class. Savannah, hello. How are you? Fine. Thank you, teacher. Okay. How are you? Okay. Where are you now? 
random oh. question. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm in the Hawk, <laughs> in the north part of Iraq. <laughs> okay. Still? Yeah. Okay. I never know yeah, where you're going to be. Uh, okay. All right. So, man, sit tight. I'll come around to you in a little bit. Uh, in, uh, in the meantime, let me talk to David for a minute. Uh, David, have you ever uh, had a nickname before when you were a child? And are there any nicknames that you could share with us? If <laughs> you don't want to, it's yeah. understandable. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, so, yes, remember? I yeah. I had one uh, when I went to the school. Uh, I think I was quite good with my my qualifications, and, and there was a cartoon here in Spain that it was like a penguin or something similar, and and its name I think it was uh, this series of cartoons. Um, the big walk, the um, petetes, big book. Uh, the name is uh, the name was uh, petete, and I I I I will try to 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 find a picture that you can see. And my mates compared me with this kind of animal because they. Uh, they usually uh, told me that uh, I I spent a lot a lot of time studying, and in some way when they uh, needed uh, help with uh, their studies or some advice, they will always could uh, ask me about. Uh, about those uh, questions, and mm -hmm. they they usually told me that I always had an answer. And the problem was that when I went to my countryside, to to my uh, parents' countryside at home, uh, one of my schoolmates uh, went to the same place and. He shared my nickname with everyone, and uh -huh. a, a nickname that it was supposed to be my nickname only uh, <laughs> until I was, for example, 12 or 13 years old. Even uh -huh. today, some people uh, call me with this nickname, and if you see the picture of the of this. Animal. I, I don't know if it's a penguin or or what. <laughs> uh, you realize that is not the best uh, nickname for a 43 years old guy <laughs> like, like me. And I, I have one picture. I am trying to share it with you. Um, uh -huh. Okay. The name. It's the name is this. I type in, okay, in, in, the, in the chat box. <laughs> okay. Um, um, okay. I like it because, in some way, I, all of us uh, will be always a kid. I have a kid inside of me, and sometimes right. I, I I like to think that it's possible to to be like a kid. But if I have a meeting with uh, very important people in my job. Uh, I think perhaps if some if someone uh, knows my m former nickname, uh, perhaps uh, it could be not so convenient. I think. Okay. All right. We definitely could all see the picture. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I th I think that's a penguin. I I think so. Uh, okay. Um, just one thing I, I didn't understand with your story. Uh, how does this, how does that collate? How does, I mean, how does, how does that uh, go together? 
the idea that you were hardworking and your friends relied on you to help them with the homework. And uh, it, was the cartoon character also like that? Is that the idea? Yes. Okay. Yes. Right. This this wow. series, okay. this cartoon, uh, talks about um, a a girl, a real girl, and a cartoon together in in the performance and. Always the 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 girl asked for something to the penguin, and the penguin always had the correct answer. And ah. it's for that the the, the, the compa that they compared me with this. I got gotcha. you. I got gotcha. you. Okay. I have another another picture. Perhaps uh, it's more convenient to see the the comparison. I am sure. Okay. And you can see the penguin with his big book. Oh, because he had a big book. He had all the answers. I get it now. All right. I get the idea. Okay, but you know what? That's a lot better. I actually had a friend. Uh, I can't say a friend. An acquaintance who I grew up with. Uh, there's his big book. Gotcha. All right. All right. I actually had a friend whose nickname was Penguin, but... Not for such uh, meritous reasons, not for good reasons, because he actually looked like a penguin. I mean, he really did look like a penguin. That was the funny thing. Body shape, everything. Anyway, better your reason, I think. Uh, okay. All right. Um, in English, when you have a nickname, uh, by the way, we often talk if we're talking about a nickname. We can talk about your uh, nickname stuck. We say, oh, so I was given this nickname and it's stuck. Maybe it's stuck with me for many years through school or it's stuck with me to this day. Uh -huh. Or you can get a nickname when you're young and it doesn't stick. Or if you're a stupid kid like me, you try to give yourself a nickname and it never <laughs> sticks. Uh, oh, Lena, okay. Okay. Lena, you were next. Uh, too bad you had to go. Okay. Uh, anyway, so we often talk about a nickname sticking or not. Uh, all right. And one other small thing. He, he called me with this name. Your friend from school went back to your hometown, and he, he called you by that name. By this name. That, that name. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. it. He called you by that name. All right. <laughs> that's pretty good. That's pretty interesting. Thank you for sharing that. Uh, pretty cool. All right. Uh, random questions time. Saiban. Uh, it's your turn. Uh, okay. All right. Now, this probably has happened to everyone. Maybe not, but actually, I, I'm kind of, I don't know. It, I'm guessing this happens to everyone, but I don't know. Uh, so, Ben, what is something that your parents, or maybe grandparents, mother, or father, or grandparents, said to you when you were a child, and uh -oh. you promised yourself that you would never say to your own kids? <laughs> okay, uh, they uh, they just keep asking me, uh, don't talk uh, against government. Because the government, well, if if the the security capture you, they will they will. I mean, you will you will be. I mean, gone. I mean, uh, you will be. I mean, nobody nobody will know anything about you. They will they will kill you. I mean, they will. Uh, they say. Uh, they will do whatever they want to do. I mean, <laughs> so they they will abuse you. They will do everything. So please, they say to me, my my grandma and my grand uh, uh, father and my parent, my parents, they 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 always they they keep talking to me. They keep asking me, don't talk against government because, <laughs> yeah. You, you will be well, <laughs> uh, okay now frankly that seems like something that you would say to your own children <laughs> will you tell your children that 
Yeah, of course. <laughs> okay. Well, that seems like the kind of advice that you like to pass on <laughs> to your children. That seems reasonable to me. Okay. Did, did your parents uh, or grandparents ever tell you any crazy things like, don't run with a pencil, you'll put your eye out, or uh, uh, anything like that? Uh, eat your vegetables or you'll go blind, or <laughs> any oh, crazy no. things like that? No? Uh, sometime, yeah, sometimes they, they ask me, if you don't go to sleep, uh, the monster will come and eat you, oh. so go and sleep early. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, all right. So, will you tell that to your children? Ah, see, I changed the question to future tense now. Okay. So, will you, okay. Will, will you tell that to your children? Go to sleep, or a monster will eat you. <laughs> you know, sometime uh, it's it's. I mean, it's not good to lie to your uh, kids. But uh, sometimes, if if the kid uh, or the child he's very annoying, uh, <laughs> so you have you have to thread them by anything. I mean, he eventually he will realize that this is not the reality. But uh, until that till that time, you will uh, persuade them persuade persuade uh, the child uh, to to just I mean do what you want to do. Uh, I mean, even I mean, either uh, to to eat healthy food, or uh, go to bed early, or anything else, or to just obey you. You have to persuade them. I mean, uh, to speak your, their language. So. Okay. <laughs> yes. Speak their language. Okay. Uh, all right. Oh, interesting. All right. Threat. Threaten. Uh, the verb threaten. is to, to threaten, uh, right? So the you use the verb threat. It should have been threatened. The noun is threat. Yes. All right. Threat. Threaten. You threaten somebody with something. You threaten your kid with uh, punishment of going to bed without dinner or no no video games or something like that. Okay. But uh, you threaten somebody with a punishment. And um, so you you need the child. You said I need so you can get the child to do what you want to do, but it, it should be to get the child to do what you want them, him, her to do. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, to get child for now. Sorry. Okay. No. So uh, okay. So I have to say uh, you have to get child. Uh, I mean. Or, or ask them uh, to do what uh, what uh, I I forget <laughs> what no problem what you want them to do what you want them to do or what yeah, what you uh, uh, want uh, he or uh, no 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 he him or her to do yeah object noun so when we use uh, pronouns. He or she is used for subject, him or hers for the object noun. Yeah, that's it. You got it. Not just your kids either, you know. The useful phrase if you're the boss as well for your employees. You need them to do what you want them to do. Same thing. Okay. Uh, all right. Did you, uh, did you have a picture in your mind of this monster? Oh, Yes, it uh, was like, I mean, half cat and half dog. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, great. I'm going to be imagining that as I fall asleep tonight. Thanks. Thanks a lot. Okay. <laughs> Sorry okay. about that. Oh, it's, uh, it's quite all right. It's a lot better than other things I could be imagining. Um, all right, I, we're going to move on to Mustafa. Mustafa, what's, uh, it's relatively early where you are. It's before noon, right? Exactly. Okay. It's what's, 9, 9, 9, 9, 9, 30. All right, so what is on your list? 
for the day. First of all, two oh questions. My goodness. Do, do you make yeah. lists? Are you a list guy? Yeah. Do you make lists? Yeah. And whether you do or not, what is on your list for today? What do you need to get done today? Okay. Okay, thanks for your question. Okay, I I make lists each day and on my actual I'm I'm kinda of person like I like to do my I like to, to write my to do list. Uh, and this list is like uh, keep me keep my day maybe safe and keep me away from wasting my time. So if you wanna ask if you ask wanna know what on my today list uh, to do list of today, actually I like to start my day with positive uh, messages, maybe motivation speakers, maybe listening to something or reading even sometimes reading article like talk about maybe goals. Um, how to be more positive. I like to work on mindset each day because I know like it's not uh, you cannot change my, your mind all of a sudden like take a, a long time and you have to keep up with this process. So this is my maybe first uh, step of the day. I'll try I'm always trying to begin my day with uh, this step with this step. Um, second, um, we are playing, of course, because you know, like uh, your classes always in the morning. So, so maybe nine a.m., maybe ten a.m. I have a class. Sometimes I don't like to take three in a row, three classes in a row, in a, in a row like because maybe I I feel tired or tired or maybe uh, exhausted. So this is not good for me. My mind cannot carry carry on all of this load of uh, material, studying material. Um, again, uh, after that maybe praying, maybe having lunch. This is like uh, something I have to do in the middle of the day, at noon. Then maybe, again, maybe if there is like a trusting class I like to have or I like to take because I like speaking classes so I focus more of my times on Interesting class. I don't like grammar. <laughs> um, then maybe, um, maybe oh, okay. Um, 5 p.m. Okay, I, I usually take a nap. By the way, uh, at, at noon. Um, um, what else? Ah, okay. Uh, 5 p.m. or 4 5 4, 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Maybe 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. I like to have a tea, drink a cup of tea. And uh, with biscuits or something like this, um, then I like to go maybe out. Um, maybe if I have to go to the market or do, do something interesting, because I, you know, it's like it's boring to stay all, all of the day in your home. It's a little bit, a little bit more boring for me. Then going back to my home, praying again, time for praying. Then having my dinner. Then. Watching a movie, I usually like that on my to-do list. Watching movie, reading article, <laughs> working on myself, uh, doing something interesting before maybe okay. And also this involves like surfing, YouTube, Facebook, social media, LinkedIn, applying job, um, doing a lot of uh, interesting things, and then heading back to my bed. And that's <laughs> it. Okay, <laughs> have a full day. All right. Okay. Uh, me too. David was uh, supporting you with the use of to-do lists. I also definitely have my to-do list. Uh, absolutely. I also couldn't survive without it, really. Okay. I can. I feel in you guys. Uh, all right. Um, all right. Good. Good job. Very thorough. Uh, all right. You like to. Uh, you, you started out t saying that you like to make a list and that you like to make a list. To, you said to keep my day safe. Not really. That doesn't really work. Keep your day organized. Keep your day focused. You mentioned something else that did make sense. Uh, yeah, yeah. Keep, keep my, yeah. Keep my day safe from wasting time. Oh, okay. I see. So you uh, you just didn't connect those two ideas very clearly. So it was confusing for me. Okay, now I understand. 
Uh, all right. And uh, I, I don't know what uh, if you just whatever missed the word, but it's a. I just have to mention it's an extremely common mistake I hear uh, English learners make all the time. I, I what I heard is you say applying applying a job, but you have to apply for a job. Yeah. Uh, okay. Yeah. I I came across it really quick and I uh, didn't pay yeah, a well, lot of attention yeah. to the grammar. Yeah, just yeah, just said applying the job, and, but okay. applying for a job, right? Yeah, applying for a job, because uh, you can apply something. You can apply glue to a piece of paper. You can apply paint to the to the wall. Uh, you can. It is possible to actually use the word apply and an object noun, but it changes the meaning. So you, you got to mm -hmm. be a little careful of that. Uh, you apply glue, whatever you're actually putting on something else. You're applying it. You're applying it, yeah. So uh, that, that's it. Okay. Great. Well, all right. Can you <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you liked my, my day or it's like a routine, a boring routine? <laughs> 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 no, I could relate to one thing you said though. You said you get really tired and mentally exhausted when you have three classes in a row. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, okay, um, I could relate to that part. All right, l let me um, move on over uh, to David. Um, okay, David. Uh, really random question. What's uh, something related to driving or traffic that really annoys you? <laughs> um, okay. Um, I like to drive. Um, okay. I usually use my car or my motorbike. And I have to drive every day uh, while I am working and or to drop off my children in school. And I like to enjoy this this time at that time. I, I I like to to drive my car and or my motorbike. And I I say uh, I, I tell myself every day uh, hey David, enjoy this piece of time. And I, I can't, I can't understand uh, these people who they are, uh, they are, they are driving in a very nervous way. They they want to 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 arrive first and. They they are very annoyed with everything, and and I, I prefer to to drive in a very calm uh, way. And if someone uh, makes a mistake and I can help her or him, okay, I I, I don't have to shout to him and to tell him, ah, well, what are you doing? I prefer to to let him or her to pass uh, in front of me, or if I have to break, I don't have any problem. And I think it's not only driving; it's in, in, in all, all the aspects of of, of life. Uh, perhaps we are uh, very worried about uh, many things, and we don't take the, the time to to enjoy every, the things we are doing every day. Uh, I mean, I, 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 I am attending now this class and I try to enjoy this class. If, if I don't enjoy this class, I think mm, the, the better option for me is to, to log off and say goodbye and <laughs> perhaps do another thing. And while driving is the same, I, I don't understand and because the difference uh, between uh, drive 
I think, in this calm way that I am trying to explain. I'm driving in, in the other, like if they were in a competition, and perhaps <laughs> um, we are talking about minutes or seconds, um, because uh, I usually uh, see many people uh, uh, running, uh, driving faster with their cars, and finally we meet at the same point because there is a traffic jam or an accident or anything that makes you stop, and they are waste wasting more energy, personal energy. They're wasting more gas, and I think they are uh, wasting their lives because they are <laughs> not enjoying what they are doing. Okay. All right. I know what you mean. I, I, I can very much relate with what you're saying. Uh, I always really... most Everybody says they hate commuting. Oh, I hate my commute. <laughs> but I, frankly, I love my commute. It was like decompression. All right. You know, going to my job, okay, now what do I need to do today? Get myself sort of mentally geared up to, to work. Yeah. All right, what is it? Okay, start thinking about it. And going home, the opposite, you know. All right, now I'm done work. Let me put work on the shelf. <laughs> let me forget about it. What can I do when I get home? Oh, I was, oh well, yeah, that's right. I was fixing my desk, I gotta finish that, and then I'm gonna uh, make dinner. What can I have for dinner? I don't know, I like to start forgetting about work or whatever, you know. Or you are driving and you put your favorite song in your CD, yeah. and you can think, oh, this is my moment and no one is going to ruin it. And sure. The world can do whatever and they want, but I am here to listen to this music and to enjoy it. All right. Now, you, you know, I have, uh, I agree with your content. I have nothing to say really about your organization or your grammar. Perfect job. I just, uh, you reminded me of some vocabulary that I'd like to share. Uh, you could have said that people drive stressed out, like they're okay. all stressed out or they're all wound up. When people are like, really tense and and you know every little thing bothers them you can say they're wound up and uh, the, the last thing the last word or phrase I wanted to share was uh, and and maybe ask you about I think uh, one of the things that you know when people drive like that it's like they are personalizing Things that have no business being personal, you know. It's not personal yes. when somebody pulls out in in a car. Uh, and and I agree, it's a huge waste of energy to try to personalize everything and personalize things that you can't even control. It's like getting angry because it's raining. Ah! <laughs> What's the yes, point? I agree. It's like a total waste of energy. Ah, let it go. Yeah, there you go. There's another phrase. You got to learn how to let things go, <laughs> right? Not everything can be controlled, you know. Uh, and that's okay. Uh, okay. Well, that was uh, quite enjoyable. I can relate to a lot of your ideas there. All right, Saban. Let me talk to you for a little bit. Yes. Saban, because I never know when you're going to join me for class, and I never know what country you're going to be in. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you used to, when you were at university, you used to come to my class and I would ask what time it is and you would say, it's 2 in the morning, it's 3 in the morning, <laughs> whatever. But I want to ask you, what do you do if you can't sleep at night? Do you, what do you do? Do you t watch a little TV? Do you play a game? Do you take a walk? Do you have a cup of tea? Okay, honestly, I haven't... Uh had this uh, problem in my life. Thank God that whenever I get tired, I, I, I sleep very deeply. But it, let's say, let's say if, if I have uh, this uh, problem, then 
I will try, uh, I mean, to watch movie, because uh, watching movie, I really, I really fall in sleep. I mean, w I mean, even if I, if I am, I mean, even if I, if I, uh, if I sleep, uh, I mean, during the day, I mean, or, or if I sleep, let's say, if I, if I had like. Uh, uh, 18 hours of sleep. <laughs> uh, uh, then, if I just watch movie and then I will just lie off on my bed, and watching movie during lying off on my bed, uh, I will, uh, let's say, ho hopefully, and they say de definitely, I will fall asleep. <laughs> really? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, <laughs> okay. Do you is there something that is guaranteed to put you to sleep? Watching a movie, yeah. You just you just answered that question. Sorry, uh, silly me. Um, all right. Oh, I, different question that I wanted to ask. What is the most sleep? The lo you know consecutive hours, the longest sleep, I should say. What is the longest uh, sleep you've ever had? <laughs> How long have you slept? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I slept for like uh, more than more than I mean sixteen hours. Uh, Sometimes uh, twelve hours. It, it's uh, for for many times I have slept <laughs> for more than twelve hours. But in in the case that I am very tired and I did uh, a really I mean physically tired job. I mean. To be more, I mean, to be more specific, or, or I just, uh, especially during the harvest uh, season, when you just, uh, when we go to the village and just harv, uh, harvest, let's say harvest, uh, or pick up our, I mean, uh, the vegetables and uh, the fruit that we have over there, because we have, I mean, like a far. Uh, Farm, I mean, not farm, a farmer, not farmer, the, I don't know how to say <laughs> the The land that we used to, I mean, not farmer, fa farm, I mean, like a, a, a small farm. Okay. Uh, is it yeah. your, your family's farm or is it part of a collective, a collective, no, our, like farming? It's our family, it's, it's my family uh, farm. So we, we, I mean, we have like a specific month, and they say that we, we have a, like a harvest season. So we, we just go to there and harv, harvest uh, our, um, the fruit and vegetable and bring everything that we need from the farm. Okay. So, yeah. okay, you're struggling with farm. Maybe, maybe David's right. Is, is uh, Basically, you have a garden or a vegetable garden or vegetable and fruit. Garden, garden and orchard, yeah. something like that. Yeah, Not it's necessarily it's, animals or big red buildings or anything like that. Yeah, right. it's no, it's it's big enough. It's it's it's, it's big enough. Uh, it's is very big. I mean, uh, we uh, to be more specific. Uh, hello, teacher. I think we lost you. Yeah, I think we lost them. Yes, I agree. Fabian, this, this place you are talking about is without animals. Excuse me, David. What, what you this, what did you say? This place you are talking about. Uh, is uh, without animals? No, uh, we, it just it just like I mean, uh, a farm. It's uh, we have like uh, apple, uh, yeah. apple tree, and yeah. uh, note, um, and uh, especially note. Uh, not the uh, the note. I don't know how to say it. <laughs> um, it's it's very hard. Uh, I forget that. Note, I think it's it's not. <laughs> we call yes. it not. But yeah. there are Walmart, there are a, it's Walmart. There, oh okay. okay. 
but you don't have animals, you don't have chickens or cows or... We, no, we used to have it. Uh, we uh -huh. used to have them before. Uh, and we, we raise especially uh, goats and sheep because um, we, okay. we, yeah, we used to uh, do the agricultural uh, job so uh, we used to have to raise them. Okay. How about you? Uh, have you ever uh, did you have experience about the agricultural job, or I mean, have you ever had? I mean, no. Raised? My only experience, I think, is years ago when I lived in the same village that I live now. Uh, we can see cows uh, walking on the street from one place to another place, but definitely I I've never worked in a farm or or in the field um, with vegetables, fruits, or animals. But I know some friends that do it, and they told me that uh, it's a like you said, it's a very very hard work. We, we don't realize how hard it is because we only go to the supermarket or to the store to buy the fruits or the vegetables but I think it, there is a very hard work behind this. Yeah, I really agree. It's very, it's very physically hard. Not mine, do you let's say. Uh, it's very hard. Especially, I I really get tired when I just went uh, during the harvest uh, uh, the harvest uh, season. We used to go there and pick up walnut and apple. Just I mean, we didn't stay for uh, too much time. I mean, for I mean, for for I mean, uh, for many days. Only uh, two or three days, and we come back. Uh, but it is uh, just recently. We because it's very it's countryside it's very far from our city, so we just ask some I mean the farmers, um, uh, or let's say peasant peasant or, or farmers, just to uh, take care about land and we just hire I hire him uh, uh. to do yeah to do the I mean to just. Uh, uh, take care about the land or the the let's say the farm uh, the farm uh, so we we pay him okay and how how much time do you work every day oh I'm uh, I I am not working currently because I am student but, but when uh, you go to to the field to to work to recollect the vegetables or the fruits. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. I think uh, it's more than okay. I think we have a teacher come back. Yes. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. Hi, guys. Sorry about that. Little connection, connectivity problem. Random connection. It's so weird because it appears that I'm still connected. Like. It continues. Uh, I, I keep talking for like three minutes. I don't even realize I'm not connected. And then when it connects back, I'm connected before it appears that I'm connected. So uh, anyway. Anyway. Uh, all right. Random questions. Uh, okay. Uh, Mustafa, do you ever lose connection? <laughs> <laughs> I have uh, I I have lost my connection many times and actually the same experience had happened to me before before I got realized that I am disconnected so it's really weird like when you talk talk and keep on talking and then you realize that you don't have any connection and no one is listening to you so you have and then when you come back you don't have you don't know from where you began uh, or start your conversation because you, you already lost your connection without knowing from which point you have lost or something like that. Socially, uh, not good experience. <laughs> yeah. It's kind of a lost feeling, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, all right. 
Uh, okay. Uh, Mustafa, on a, scale, on a scale of 1 to 10, how well do you sing? <laughs> um, zero. <laughs> because I, yeah, because uh, I don't sing. Basically, I don't sing. So uh, maybe the perfect answer for this question is I don't know or zero. Because I didn't, sure. I haven't experienced that. Um, yeah, like. this is a yeah, simple and easy one. No. Okay. You never tried singing? I never tried singing. I never tried singing. And I don't think I'm going to try in the future. <laughs> <laughs> really? Not, you know, out in the field by yourself all alone or in the bathroom? No, never? No. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, I all right. don't think I, I'm good at it. All right. If you ever want to give it a try, you for some reason, people always sound better in the bathroom. I don't know why. <laughs> Just... There's some magic that happens. I don't really understand it. Uh, okay, David, have you, uh, do you ever sing in the uh, sing in the shower? Have you ever sung in the bathroom? Am I totally crazy? Am I the only one? <laughs> uh, no, you are not alone. Gotcha. I am another one. Yes, okay. I I sing almost every time I take a shower. I I sing. Mm. And that word you uh, were talking about, you was talking about, you were, uh, you were talking about, and uh, the, the the when you sing at the bathroom, it sounds uh, well. It's uh, because the acoustic of the room. Uh, mm. Indeed, many musicians uh, that don't can, uh, they can't pay a studio to record uh, their voices. Use the bathroom to to record the, their voices, and really? you are not wrong. You are you are right, uh, and I like to sing. I I have a I play in a band. I play the drums, and ah. I'm not the the singer, but I I sing from time to time, making curls. I don't know how to pronounce. When you are the second singer in the band, okay, you... backup, backup singer. Yes, right. and We're singing, singing backup. Yeah. Okay. Yes, and yeah, I like, I like it. I am singing almost every time. I think <laughs> it's one of the most enjoyable things you can do, uh, and if if you are organizing a party in your house, and. Put a microphone somewhere and give <laughs> beer to everyone, and I guarantee you that in 20 or 30 minutes, uh, everyone uh, will be fighting for the microphone. <laughs> oh, you you would love uh, you would love Filipino parties uh, here in the Philippines. That's a, just that's standard procedure. Every party has a karaoke machine. It's just okay. the normal. It's not really, it really would seem strange if there wasn't one. Uh, they they love to sing here, and you know, singing is very therapeutic. I think for yes. me, anyway, it's good therapy. It releases the stress and the uh, emotions, or I don't know, whatever. Uh, be careful using well and good. You really can't say it sounds well. Instead, it sounds good because good is an adjective, and a well is an adverb. It's very confusing because okay. they have similar meanings, similar uses, but you got to be a little bit careful because you really can't use well as an adjective. Okay. Okay. So it sounds good. Uh, okay. Yeah, interesting. Uh, okay. Uh, Seven. Uh, another totally crazy question for you. Uh, oh, it's since uh, well, actually a follow-up question, and then I'll, I have another one. But um, you're talking about harvesting and working hard. Is it getting near harvest time? Yeah, yeah. It's September, 
we we are just about the harvest uh, season. We uh, my family uh, have decided to uh, they I mean to just go uh, last uh, Friday, uh, but uh, they didn't get a chance. Uh, they were very busy. Uh, they are planning to go this Friday to just uh, go and tarve, uh, let's say, or pick up uh, the walnut, uh, walnut, uh, and uh, and apple. This is the the two uh, fruit that we have uh, in our farm. Okay, on our farm. In uh, yeah, on our farm. Yeah. yeah. That's very confusing because it doesn't. I don't know why, but it's a weird exception. We say on the farm. Uh, I grew up on a farm. I work on a farm, whatever, instead of in a farm. It doesn't really follow the regular preposition kind of, I can't say rules, guidelines. It's closer to the reality. But it doesn't really follow the guidelines because normally something with boundaries, you know, farms have fences, you know, so it would seem to be in, it would make more sense. So it's very, I, I completely can understand why that's confused so often. Uh, okay. Uh, interesting. Uh, Simon, one more question. When was the last time that you ate outside? Oh, okay. Uh, I think uh, the last time... Uh, was uh, the just uh, a, a month ago, um, a, a month ago, when I just uh, when I decided to go uh, to I mean like a fast food restaurant in in my city, and uh, to have a really uh, a cuisine, um, not the cuisine sorry, to have like uh, a really um, uh, this uh, they they made a sandwich. Um, the, there's a local, uh, very popular restaurant here in, in my city, and it is it's very small restaurant, but it's very popular. Everybody mm -hmm. in, in this city, they are just going. It's very crowded. Uh, I mean, uh, because uh, they have some sandwich is very delicious. We we I mean we we really love uh, this sandwich. It's it's uh, I mean delicious. It it's delicious. It's very. I mean, I don't know how. It's very tasty. <laughs> I don't know how got to it. explain. It. <laughs> uh, well, I got it. Okay, I I know I, what you I, mean. I, I'm sorry. I just say uh, I have eat. Uh, I have eat in uh, McDonald's. For me, this sandwich it's it's more delicious than than I mean than McDonald. Trust me. For me, I oh, don't yeah. know for some else. Yeah, there's this place. No. no. Well, I actually did live there for a little while uh, in a city I used to live in, but uh, also in it was a I grew up near it. There was a place called Al's French Fries. Man, it was unbelievable. French fries are French fries, right? Okay, French fries. They're not like there's not like a big secret recipe, but for I, these guys, the way they prepared the fries were. They didn't taste like any other French fries you've ever had in your life, and everybody, i would never met a human being who didn't absolutely love them. They were hopelessly addictive. They were so awesome. Uh, um, anyway, I don't know what the secret was, but there was a secret for sure. Anyway, I know what you mean uh, about that. Uh, okay. Uh, Mustafa. How about you? When's the last time you ate outside? Oh, it was a long time ago. You know that, like, I haven't been outside since um, um, since last year, I guess. Something like that. It was a long time, and uh, I want to go outside to to eat. Like, I think this is like in my plan on on my list to do. It's on your list. Uh, yeah. It's now on your yeah. list. I yeah. See. Yes. Okay. All right. Put it on your list. All right. Uh, okay. I've got to get going. But David. Uh, all right. Um, does your does, do your your McDonald's have outside seating? El Frisco. 
can you, can you eat it outside? And I don't understand the, the question. Oh, I, I know you work at McDonald's, but I can't remember yes. if, you, if you're a manager at one or you manage several several of them. Yes, I, I am the manager of se several restaurants, but okay. I but, eat there every day. All right, but in Spain, in Spain, do they have outside seating? Yes. Okay, that, that yes. was my I, I like, I like it. Uh, we like yeah. it. Uh, yeah. We call it terrace, I think. Uh, okay, patio. Patio, terrace, yes. Uh, Here, either one many, or the other. Yeah. Yes, and when, when it's a sunny day, everyone wants to, uh, to eat outside. Mm, yeah, actually sounds good to me right right now. But uh, yeah. I've got to start another class, so uh, that made me hungry. Why do we talk about food? But anyway, thank you very much. Thank you. See you.